Uh, Navika, the fact is what is happening all around the country, it seems increasingly likely that it is not India against corruption, but India for corruption. I don't know what's going on. But if you look at the Maharashtra scam and the Bengal scam, the proof is in front of you. 672 chawl owners who had poor people who had their homes have been denied their home. There's an obvious scam there. In Bengal, the SSC, you see those mountain mounds of illegal money. So there's a scam there. What I want to concentrate tonight is the National Herald scam because the nuance is not very well known to the public. So if you permit me a couple of minutes, I want to tell you that National Herald case, just like the Maharashtra case and the Bengal scam is an open and shut as it can get. It is the Kohinoor in the Congress crown of scams. So the question is not that the Congress is corrupt or indulging in scam. Of course they are. I mean the scam glut is such that even the Congress leaders get confused which Congress leader perpetrated which scam. Was Raja in National Herald? Was Rahul in Colgate? Was Chidambaram in 2G? The cup runneth over Navika. No. The question is when will the guilty be punished? And that is why I am afraid the Congress is going to brazen this out. Especially the National Herald one. They know. Nothing is going to happen to them and worse comes to worse. Rahul Gandhi will join the BJP. In any case, he is working for the BJP. The incontrovertible fact, Navika, is that in this country, you can fool all of the people all of the time. The Congress spokesperson's brief probably consists of a single line, which is that if on an off chance you can't commit a scam, at least defend the person who did. Come into National Navika, just a minute. As I said, it is as open and shut as it gets. Here is the summary. In 2008, National Herald newspaper that was launched by Jawaharlal Nehru in 1938 accumulated a debt of 90 crores. Congress offered 90 crore interest-free loan to the Associated Journals Limited running National Herald. But the attempt to bring back the newspaper failed. Are you with me till now? In 2010, Young India Limited was set up in which Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi held a majority share of 76%. Now remember. The Congress that had originally lent money to Associated Journals Limited now assigned the debt to Young India Limited, which meant that Associated Journals Limited had to pay back 90 crores to Young India Limited. But because since Associated Journals Limited was not in a position to repay the loan, the company transferred its shareholding to Gandhi owned Young India Limited, Correct. for which they received only rupees 50 lakhs. Associated Journals had a real estate property worth 2000 crores. I repeat. The Gandhis allegedly paid 50 lakhs to buy a property worth 2,000 crores. When Rahul was quizzed by the ED on this, he said he was too tired to answer the questions regarding this buyout. I wonder what Sonia Gandhi's excuse was. So this in short, in two minutes, I, I suppose for the first time, I have explained to you why he, this scam is as open and shut as the Shiv Sena scam and the Bengal scam. I have a lot of respect for Dr. Ranganathan, but Dr. Ranganathan, you're wrong on two facts. Number one, fact number one is the 90 crore loan was not given in 2008, was given over a period of 10 years in uh, small installments. That's point number one, but the more pertinent point. Dr. Ranganathan, since you're a man of science, data, and one who's well-researched on Times Now, Navika Show, please read the first paragraph of the Young India Objectives and the Associated Journal Objectives. Associated journals cannot transfer one property, one property to Young India, that. and Young India cannot take any property from associated journals because Young India is a section 25 not-for-profit co company. They cannot even sell the assets because these are government I'll properties more on these paragraph. and you cannot sell it. A more important paragraph from 2015. After having considered the entire case in its proper perspective, this court finds no hesitation to put on record that the modus operandi adopted by the petitioners in taking control of AGL via special purpose vehicle Young Indians, particularly when the main persons in Congress AGL and YI were the same evidence as a criminal intent and the trial court had said yes. and please understand what the yes. trial court had said from the complaint and the evidence said so far, it it appears that why I was in fact created as a sham or a cloak to convert public money to personal use for a special purpose vehicle for acquiring control of 2,000 crores worth of assets, the AJL and SITS, all the, there and we therefore go. the complainant has yeah. established a prime yeah. officer case there we go. against the accused under section 403, 406, 420, read with 120B of IPC trial court and Thank high you. court what? not controlled yeah. by yeah. the yeah. high yeah. court. Yeah.